Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Happy Chalkers at the Cozy Cottage. I am your host tonight, as well as your chalk couture designer. My name is Lucy Aaliyah. If it's your first time here, then we're going to explain how we work. We are a DIY high-end home decor company. And I'm here to show you a beautiful frame tonight and how, what we do to decorate it. And the great thing is that if you do this, you can decorate it your way with your colors. So let's start. I'm gonna bring you down to the screen where you could actually see the board. Okay, so this is the board. It's a big guy. I mean, it is big, okay? It doesn't even fit. I tried to fit it into the the uh, screen, but it doesn't even fit. It is a big guy. We're gonna be chalking today. When we chalk, we use this fuzzing cloth. I will explain why. We we're using paste tonight because when we're chalking a frame, we use paste. Our company does carry inks in case you want to use it on fabric. I am going to be using this wonderful piece that I will eventually be putting in my kitchen. I really, really love this piece. So I am keeping my fingers crossed. All right, so we're gonna turn this over and pull it out. Now our screens are very sticky in the back and that is so that they can grip onto your frame. Now in this case, it's going to uh, be a little too sticky. So what we're gonna do is that that's where the fuzzing cloth comes in. Before I start fuzzing it, I'm going to explain something to you. Now I usually don't do this, but I do explain to you that you, if you get any of these frames, you should do it. You're gonna write in the back with a Sharpie on this white part. You're gonna write what frame this is before you start. The reason be because once you peel it, you don't wanna place it back on the wrong side. I am so used to doing it that I, I will never place it on the wrong side, but it's very easy to confuse. So right in the back. Now in this case, my screen brings three pieces. Sometimes our screens bring a lot more than just three pieces. We are going to cut these three pieces off. Now these three pieces definitely will stay with this, with this screen. It doesn't always have to stay with the same screen depending on the screen that you have. Some screens you could mix and match and come up with your own design. I am gonna be using our wonderful scissors. I love these because these do not let that sticky part attach itself to the scissors. Your scissors will always cut really smooth without any glue sticking to them. So these scissors are very special. And for those of you that know me, I design clothing. I have a lot of scissors, <laughs> okay? And I love these. All right, so we're gonna cut this through the middle. Obviously, this is our milk and our marshmallows. Let's cut this through the middle. And I wanna show you something here. Now, I'm probably not gonna use this. Uh, this is the milk, and we're going to fit it into those grooves. Now, you see these little marks here? you're gonna see the same mark on your big screen. And they did that so that you could match this screen, this little mark with this so that it lands exactly where it should. And the same with the marshmallows. The marshmallows are going to be placed in that same spot so that they land right on top of your milk. Gonna move that over to the side for a second and I'm going to peel off the screen. Now, if you're new here, you're gonna think that this is a stencil. Now, I'm sure many of you are in your mind are thinking, oh, nice stencil. The reason I keep saying screen is because it is a screen, and I want you to see that. Can you see that? Now, you might be wondering why that's important. Now, because this is so big, I'm gonna put the sticky part facing up so that I can fuzz it. 
Now you might be wondering why is it so important that it is a screen? Well, a screen allows your paste or ink, but in this case, we use paste, to distribute beautifully. It doesn't get clumpy. When you do it on your own with a brush, it, it will get clumpy. Any paint, or it's not gonna distribute properly. This allows perfect distribution. That's why we have screens, and our screens are silk screens. So it allows that paste to just distribute beautifully. When you take when you take your, your screen off, the distribution of, of your paste is so pretty. It's like nothing else. I mean, it's almost like comparing it to when you see this really great t-shirt that was silk screened, why so many people want a silk screen t-shirt. has that kind of look. Now, the great thing with our screens and our company is that you can decorate this uh, much better than going to a store, and we're going to get into that. Um, so you see how sticky this one is? This one's really, really sticky. And I did it on one side, and I'm going to do it on the other side. I don't want it that sticky. And the reason is because I don't want my screen to stretch out as I'm pulling it. I want my screen to stay at its normal way as far as the, the, uh, the screen part is. And the reason is so that my ink keeps distributing and my screen print lasts me so that I could use it several times on different things. Now, you can always use this on a frame like this. You could use it on one of our banners. You could use it on the frame and then use another part of it, like let's say these decorations on a pillow that you're gonna place next to it. So the ideas are endless. Okay, so I'm sorry, but I gotta, you know, really, really take this uh, and really, really, really um, get all this stickiness off of this. Not completely though, guys. I don't want all the sticky to leave. I just want it not to be so sticky. After you wash it and you start over again, it will become just as sticky again. Eventually it loses it, but that's okay not to worry. You're gonna be able to get a lot of life out of this one screen. And our idea was that you could decorate your home without any hassles. And you know what the best part is? That once you do this, if you get tired of it and you want to change the design, all you have to do is put water on it, let it sit a little bit, and you could erase it. And yep, I said erase. You can take it off and start all over again. Now, if you go to a store, you can't do that, and you're stuck with whatever design. Let me get this off my screen. Whatever design you purchased, and it's going to go in your closet, and you're going to forget it exists. And then one day you will open your closet and go, oh, wow, I remember when we bought this. But by that time, it's out of style. And you don't have to do that with our screens. You could always erase it and start all over again with a brand new screen. And yeah, it not only allows you to continue to have fun, it allows you to continue to decorate. And by the way, if you change the color scheme of your house, right? You could easily do this all over again and change the color screen scheme of the paste that you use to do this. This guy is really sticky, guys. So we're gonna work with him like that because I don't think it's gonna give me any more. Let me put my paper to the side and I'm gonna turn this. Now, the way I like to do it to find the middle, there's two ways of finding the middle. I either put at the farthest corner of wherever my design is, which in this case would be these two little pieces right here, this is still really sticky. I will take it face to face on the non-sticky side and I will have those two pieces match so that I could squeeze just a very little corner of this, very little on the top. You don't want it to go on your screen so that I could find the middle. Okay, so I do that. The other thing I do is, especially when it's a frame this big, I don't go through that most of the time when it's a frame this big. What I do is that I lie it all the way up there. So I'm gonna bring this down so that I can then pull it onto my frame. And usually I get the middle. And at the same time, 
you know, I'm using the frame itself as a guide of where the middle is. In this case, I got to go down a little bit because this frame is big. And I think that really works. I have the same space on the bottom that I do on the top. And I have the same space on the sides. So I think that works. And guys, I got to tell you, there's never a mistake, ever. Okay? Now, I know some people might be afraid to do something this big. Well, start little. We have very small frames and we have very huge frames, much bigger than this. I'm going to uh, bring myself into the screen. Yep, so that we can see each other as we're working. I can talk to you a little better. All right, so let me straighten this up and I'm going to bring myself into your view. Uh, here we go. Hi, everyone. Yes, so now we're going to squeegee this down. Okay, and we're going to squeegee it down so that there is no air bubbles. And so that the part of our screen really sits nice. That way it doesn't bleed. And so we are going to squeegee this. Hey, Chris, are you out there? Because today I know that we're streaming in different places. Let me put my chat. Let me open it up. I won't see everybody through this chat, but I will see some people through it. Uh, okay. Well, it's not going to let me see it. So I will depend on my great assistant, Chris, and my wonderful husband, Ray, who's working with me today. So, all right. Right, Ray? Yep, I'm right <laughs> here. And, and you already got Christina in the mood for Coco. I do. Ah, Chris, you're in the mood for Coco. Yeah, this will do it. This is just a beautiful screen. I was just dying for this screen. I really love this screen. I'm going to do it in really fun colors today. I mean... If it works in my kitchen, I'll leave it in those colors. If not, guess what? I'll erase it and start all over again. We're on Instagram today too, are we? No, no. Where are we? We are on YouTube, okay. and we are in our VIP group, and we are at Happy Chalkers at the Cozy Cottage. Yes, ma'am. Got that one. Okay, thank you. Guys, why are we called the Cozy Cottage? I really got to explain that to you. I'm a designer, I design fashion, and now I, you know, I mean, I've worked with interior before, but now I decided I'm hooked to this so much. So why the cozy cottage? Because I love that people should be home and it should be their sanctuary. You should be at home and feel cozy and comfortable and warm and not feel any type of discomfort not feel any type of unhappiness and not look around your surroundings and not like what you're looking at. I think that that should be the place where you can feel amazing. And that's why we are the Cozy Cottage. We want to bring beautiful decor to you. And we want it to be comfortable. And just make you feel like you're happy to be home. And so, of course, we work together with Chalk Couture, which you can as well. So, if anyone out there, while I keep doing this, you decide that you would like to try being a designer, please message me. I am going to put uh, some things so that you could word it on the bottom if you just want to tell me right now. But if you just want to message me, you can. We also have something cl called Club Couture, which I am going to talk about. And of course, you could always go to our shop and pick out the screen that best will decorate your home. And you could always message me so that I can give you any tips, but we do send you tips with Chalk Couture, I mean Club Couture. And like I said, I am going to be talking about that a little more. All right. I think this is good, guys. It seems good. Chris, it's so weird because I can't see you today as I usually do. 
so I can't see anything any of you guys are saying. I don't know if Pat's out there. No, she's not. Really I don't out. know who's out there today. So guys, all right. So we're going to switch views because now I want to focus on this. Now, before I do, I am going to use red today. And this red is called Candy Apple. Uh, candy Apple, perfect for kitchen, right? And then we're going to use good old white. Okay, white on top of a black screen always looks amazing. I'm going to be using my Bumblebee. I think happy colors right now are, would be amazing for this. I am going to be, this color's on the side in case I need it. This is papaya, okay? And then we have the brown. Now this brown is called bark. Uh, the reason I have bark is because I am going to blend it slightly with the white so that I could get the exact color that I want for my marshmallows. And uh, I have big marshmallows down here. I don't know if you can see that. So we wanna do that. Now, this screen is big, guys. And so I always like to look at it and see where I'm starting. And I usually, unless I'm doing all white, if I was doing this all white piece of cake, you start chart, you start uh, chalking from the top. You make sure you put a lot of this everywhere, and then you use a bigger squeegee to just bring it all down. It's very quick. I'll try to see if I could do that for you next time around, um, at some point, so that you guys could see the difference. You could see how fast that is, so that you don't feel intimidated by something this large. But when we're doing a lot of colors, it's always better, I found anyway, it's always better to do a certain portion of your screen. And then you bring your screen down, you dry it, and then you continue. All right? So today, I'm going to try to stream. A lot of people that know me know that I like doing something we call messy chalking. Today, the only messy chalking I'm going to do is going to be with my marshmallows. I think today I'm going to chalk very straight colors, okay? Meaning that I'm not going to make it rainbowy or anything like that. All right, so I'm going to take you off. I'm going to take myself off of here so that you guys, there you go, so that you guys just see the screen. And I see that one of our lights is not here, but we're going to take care of that real quick. There we go. That way we can have a little bit more illumination on this screen. All right, guys, I think that's as far as I'm going to get. All right. So I am going to do hot cocoa in just plain old white. And we belong. I think I will like that probably in a yellow. Because we wanted to, and, and never trust me when I tell you I'm not going to mix colors. Because sometimes... I go left, I get excited, and I go, you know what, let's mix these colors. All right, look how pretty that looks. That's the way it should look. It should look like cake batter, okay? And that's easy. You just mix it with water and continue. Now, before I do this, I'm going to make sure I open all my paste because I want to grab it quickly. I always have extra squeegees next to me just in case, even when I'm chalking by myself. I always like to have extra squeegees. The other thing I wanted to tell you is that if you use water, make sure that when you use water in your paste, it is distilled water. Okay, guys? Uh, <laughs> all right, here we go. This is going to be bright and fun. All right, I'm going to start from the Wii. And I'm going to throw in, see what I'm doing here? I'm just like passing it over. I'm going to now... Uh, I'm going to put a little more because we want it to be nice and wet so that it really goes down in the screen. And I want to hurry. Okay. I'm going to kind of leave that wet for now. I'm not going to scrape it off yet. Okay. Yes, we scrape it off in order to save ink or to save paste, whatever we're using. I'm going to leave that. I'm going to use some of the red on these flower thingies here these little swirly things. I'm gonna move fast. Our reds are extremely pigmented and they have, they, they might 
you know, I mean, it's a good thing. They might stain your screen, but that's okay. Your screen is still going to be functional. Um, and why is it a good thing? Because that means you're going to get full color. You don't have to worry. All right, so we're going to really try to get this in here. Try to push down a little bit. And it is hot in here today, guys. I don't know about where you are. We're not turning on the air conditioner today because it just makes all this noise. I'm going to scrape some of this off so that I don't waste any paste. I'm going to put it back in my jar. I'm going to do the same with this. And I'm going to put it back in my jar. I'm going to throw this to the side because I'm going to use white. I'm only going to use the white on the hot for now. On the word hot because I really wanna hurry, because our weather right now can dry up my paste really quick. And then if that happens when I lift it, it's not going to, uh, it's gonna pull some of it off. Now if that happens, no big deal. There's always recovery. And anybody that's ever seen me knows that I always show you recovery. And there's always different ways to recover, okay? Now guys, you could always, after you're done, decorate your your frame however you like. You could add your own little knickknacks toward the end. I'm gonna remove this. I'm gonna clean that. We're ready to lift this, guys. Okay, eh. it is really sticky. All right, when it's that sticky, I like to go on the corners and start lifting. I like to even put my fingers toward the center that way I don't stretch out my screen. Ah, oh, that's looking mighty good. Mighty good. Now I'm going to lift this a little more. Okay. And my screen is very wet. So I gotta be careful that it doesn't fall where it just did, that it wants to fall in, in the wrong place. Can you pass me this? Wow, that looks fantastic, man. Oh, yeah? Oh, I'm glad I'm you like it. I'm lucky I get to see it in person. I it know. looks great. Yeah, oh. A little of the red leaked into my white. Not to worry, guys. At this stage, there's never a mistake. At any stage doing this, there's no mistake. Because you could wipe that little piece off. You could use a Q-tip or a brush. Now, I'm going to tell you what I like doing. I like to clean my screen again. I like to let this dry for about an hour and then I put the screen again only on the little corner that I had a problem with and I screen it and it's fixed. So there's always a way. Now we need this to be really dry because this screen is extremely sticky and if it goes on top of this it's definitely going to pull it off. So I don't want that to happen so we're going to try to dry it. Is any questions out there, anyone? No questions? Okay. Wow, it is hot in here, guys. The lights, the cameras, and the blower. Yep. It'll make it really hot in here. I'm going to touch this, just being that I have experience doing this. Um, I'm not done with it. And... Yep, it's still moist. If it's dry on top topically and you could feel the moisture beneath it, then it's not ready. It's gonna definitely pull off when you put your screen back on. So I like to make sure. Hey Chris, how's it going? I miss you. I always see you on this screen. And today, because we're streaming everywhere, I don't see you on the screen. I think that's good. I hope that's good, guys. And again, there's never a mistake. There's only a change of direction. I always say that. Right now, a little red fell on my banner on the bottom. Not to worry. It's either gonna make me change directions or I'll, I could always erase it and just start over on, on that part. No big deal, never a big deal with this. All right, so we're gonna bring this bubble up. I'm not gonna flatten this 
but I'm definitely gonna get these bubbles out of my way. I'm gonna make sure that my screen is nice and flat in this area. Yep, bring all that bubble. I like pushing it up that way it goes up, away from me, away from where I'm going to chalk and make sure that these edges are nice and flat. Now I know that Chris is going to be putting links for you guys in case you want this screen, in case you want to ask me questions, um, whatever it may be. Now I do want to tell you that if you go to my site, make sure that my picture is on the right hand corner. If you don't see that, that I'm not your designer at that, at wherever you land. So what you do is there is a a, a search bar that you could put my name and that will bring my picture up so that you can click that that is the designer you want okay guys so now we're gonna do white here and I'm only gonna do this and pull it up we don't need to be in a rush you know I'm gonna make sure this isn't sticking okay good all right we need to just make it look as good as possible but again Right here, a little bit of the red fell. I don't know if you can see that on my banner. So it's either going to erase or I'm going to change my direction on that. All right, so here we go. We're going to, uh, I like to really wet it, though. This time I don't have to get it so moist because I am uh, going to lift just this one word. So I don't have to uh, be so worried. You know, and again, if you were doing one color, we would have been done already. It would have been finished. But because I'm not doing one color, that's where it gets a little tricky. So that's why uh, you know, I'm not rushing because of that, but that's why this takes a little longer because we are using more than one color. We're using more than two colors. Alright guys, so I'm going to now lift it and let me not waste any of that. Let me put it right back into my paste. And let me lift it up. Oh, that's looking good, guys. That's looking really good. I really love this screen. This screen is like one of my favorites. Like, I love that. What do you guys think so far? So we're going to blow dry that. Now... Listen, before I blow dry it, because it's so close to my screen, I'm going to take the same cardboard. And I know that some people don't do this, but I had an experience a long, long time ago where I did it. And for some reason, it melted my screen. So I'm not doing that again. So I'm going to do this. And I was very careful to use this cardboard that I just put here between me, between the screen and where I'm blow drying, that the shiny part is against my sticky part. That's very important. That's why it's good to write in the back of your paper, of your uh, the white part of the cardboard that holds, or the paper rather, that holds your screen. And when we finish, we're gonna clean it and we're gonna put it right back on. I'm going to show you guys how I clean this screen. It is a big screen. I don't want to put it in a water bath. One of the best ways is to go to the sink and clean it there. But I like doing it on my table. And I'm going to show you why when we're done. All right. So especially if it's paste. If it's ink, I'm going to the sink. But if it's not ink and it's paste, I'm going to try my best to do it on the table. And you'll see why. And I use one of our backboards to do that. Okay, that way it doesn't uh, go on my white table. Okay, so we're gonna keep on. I think that's good. We're gonna check it. My husband is bugging out. He's seeing me in the other computer, in the other computer, and he is just enjoying the life out of the way it looks. You look great on YouTube. Yeah. Oh yeah. Great. Oh. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna blow dry that a little more. Guys, if you don't have a jeweler's blow dryer or a crafter blow dryer, you can use a hair dryer, that's fine. Okay, you do not have to 
get one of these if you don't have one you just use your hair dryer all right that might be enough let's pray and again guys if it's not no biggie because if it pulls it off you already know i'm just gonna come back to it all right so i'm gonna lie this back down and I'm not going to squeegee that, but I am going to squeegee this. Remember, there's, there's air here, right? Because since I don't want to pull this up too much, I want it to fall exactly where it was. Still, it had, leaves that little bit of gap, that little bit of air. We're going to, again, squeegee this up so that it goes up, right? And that's okay. That little ink went in there because I'm using white anyway. So we're going to push this up. Okay, get all that little air bubbles out. Make sure that our screen is very attached to your board. I really encourage you guys to use these little things, these little markers. If you're starting out, I just never feel like I need them. But, you know, every, every, every now and then I swing a little bit and do it. I don't think today's going to be one of those days. So I'm going to look at this for a second and decide what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to go with white right here. Okay, but I'm going to go with red over here. All right, so I'm going to start with the white. I like starting with the bigger area first and then go to the smaller one because I think that the smaller one dries faster. And then when you pull it off, if you're working over here, you're going to pull that off. So let's see what I am doing here. Now, you know me, right? I said I wasn't going to mix match stuff. Well, guys. Nothing but lies. I tried. <laughs> You're so funny. <laughs> I tried. I want to give you guys a really good look. So we're going to put a little bit of this gold in here. Let's make it fun. This is our gold shimmer. It happens. Some, it's not that I don't, you know, that I tell you I'm not going to do that and then I wind up in it. But I didn't do it on the letters, just like I promised. Just want to give it a little bit of shadowing. You'll see. And it'll look really, really good. So I'm going to start with the white. All right, I'm going to put some white on this here. You're going to go all the way around with that. And I just got that little mark that I don't want to use, but you know what? That's not a big deal because I could always uh, erase it, which is kind of good if you saw that because then I could show you that that I am going to erase that if it goes through that little groove, all right? Okay, this is my first time doing this screen. I don't know this screen too well, but hopefully this comes out great. I mean, I kind of know it will because just the way this is all made you can't go wrong. You can't go wrong. Now you're wondering where I'm going to put that gold. I'm going to put that gold as a little shadowing on this side. Just a little bit. Alright, that's all I'm going to do. Just a little bit. I don't want to contaminate that, so I'm going to clean that off. Alright, here we go. Put it right there and that's it it's just gonna be a little shadow that's it all right now I'm gonna throw that in my bath and I'm going to do the red now because I like I said I like doing the red when it comes to doing these small little areas I like doing that last because it dries up a lot faster I don't want it to dry up while I'm working with the cup we are going to lift this already. All right, so let's bring it over. Let's pull. And I got to lean it onto me. And there we go. All right, I'm going to hold this up and push it so that you guys can see it because it kind of moved on me. All right, so let me pull this up a little more. And I don't know if you can see the little shadowing. I know a little red decided that it was going to uh, do a little presence there. But you know what? I was originally going to do it a red cup with white shadowing. 
not to worry. I'm going to, I will, it's still wet. And this is not the best thing to do when it's wet. That's okay. We're going to dry it and you're going to see how I recover that. I'm going to just pat it there for a moment. So if anybody's going, oh my God, it got messed up. No, it didn't. It's fine, guys. All I have to do is dry it. Once you dry it, oh my God, you could do so much. Where's that paper I just had? It disappeared on me. It fell. I don't know if you can get that for me right behind you. Okay, Ray's going to get my little paper there on the floor. That little, that paper, honey, right there. Right there. Oh my God, it's going to bite you. This, give me this. I'm trying to move that. Okay, guys, sorry. He's in a tight space. All right, let's pull this out. Let me bring this in. Uh, I don't know if you could see that it's shiny on this side, not shiny on this one. I'm going to put the shiny part to my screen. And I'm going to blow dry this. Because it's very wet, as you saw. So we're going to make sure this dries, dries, dries. How are we looking out there, guys? What's Chris saying? I can see her from here. She's moving you so far. Ah, okay. This is a great piece for your kitchen. I mean, for real, for real. So while I'm drying this, if anyone wants to join our club, it is a subscription where you will get a screen every month with three chalk singles, paste singles. You will also receive a squeegee so that you can do your project. It only costs $19.99 and you will have free shipping with your kit. When you add anything during the month that you feel you need, let's say to decorate a pillow in your house, let's say something else that you need to complement this piece that you just made for your kitchen, then that will only cost you $4.95, I believe it is, $4.99 shipping. So it doesn't matter if it's a frame this big and it's heavy, it's only going to be $4.99 for the shipping. They give you a lot of perks, videos, and tutorials. But I always encourage you, contact me. We're going to put links, but I would prefer for you to contact me and I give you the links so that I can uh, answer any questions you might have. Let's see how this is doing. This is a little better. Going to blow dry it a little more. Our subscription is a great way for you to enjoy doing something for your home monthly. And it's a great way for you to entertain yourself. Maybe you could do this with your kids. You could do this with your partner and just make a cozy night of it and work together doing it. So it becomes very fun to decorate your home. The other way is, and I always mention that one second, but you guys could always go to our shop again. You could go, to, I had said it before, I believe. You could go to our shop and pick a screen that you like and you could do it that way. But if you don't want a subscription and so the best part that I think is the best part. To me, the best part is to be a designer like me. So if you want to be a designer, is so great because you get you can get 40% off you well you do get 40% off and so many other wonderful perks so the best thing to do is to contact me and we could put you into our opportunity group now the opportunity group no one's gonna obligate you to do anything all we're gonna do is that I'm gonna come in and I'm going to explain every detail on how this works and I'm also uh, you know gonna explain details on on everything and how 
you know, the screens work and everything, or everything that you need to know. I will be answering your questions there. So I encourage you to join me. It is free and I'm not obligating anyone to do anything. I will be, I would love to be your designer. I would love to be the main person guiding you and training you until you're ready to fly solo. And is this the only way? No, there's many ways. You do not, you do not have to do it the way I'm doing it, doing tutorials. There's other ways of, of uh, sharing the love, as I say. All right, guys. So I still have the screen, right? So I'm going to bring the screen down there a little bit. I'm going to hold it down a little. It's dry, so I'm going to just screen that. And I'm going to squeegee it off. There we go, and I'm going to lift it. There we go. And then when it's very, very dry, I'll water it down a little bit. And you'll see because I'm going to take a picture of it and I'm going to post it so that you guys could see the finished product with recovery and all. Kind of like that line there. I might bring it all the way down because it makes it look like there's a light shining on the cup. You know when there's a light shining in the cup, how it has that line going down the middle from, from the actual uh, light? I like that. Okay, let's try that little piece and I'm going to lay this back down I'm gonna squeegee it again and we are going to work on this banner now I thought this banner would be fun in yellow I think we need fun colors these days people we need joy colors Colors that inspire happiness. Plus, I pick these colors because a lot of people love red, right? If you have a kitchen that has roosters, this will look great. If you have a kitchen that has a lot of sunflowers, this will look great. It'll look great no matter what, but I mean with these colors that I'm putting here. All right, now this little guy... See how that dried there? So what's gonna happen is it's the, the ink's not gonna go through the screen there. And that's okay, because I'll clean it. There's always recovery. All right, I think that's good. I see a little bubble here. He wants to join me, but I'm not gonna let it. All right. So I gotta be really careful around this place here. Normally it's good to cut. It, it, there's no issues with cutting this little uh, squeegee in half. You can do that. I actually was planning to do that. I haven't done it yet, and I should have. So I'm going to use the yellow here. I'm going to move as fast as I possibly can. Kind of like to just uh, throw it around. Okay, we're going to pass that through. Now, this one, I did want to put some color on the edgings because I want some kind of shadowing on it. So, I am not going to do that marshmallow yet because I want to work on the shadowing here. And it's just the way that I see it. It's the vision that I see for it. To put a little bit of shadowing in the edges. So, I'm really going to work on the center here. Okay, let's bring that really in there. Let's really saturate this. And then I gotta be careful here. So I'm going to go as close to the edge and pull, because I do not want it to touch my marshmallow. Okay, so I'm gonna go, being that this, I didn't cut the squeegee. I like cutting it down smaller. That way I have control over it when I have this little tiny thing. And yes, guys, I'm about to get my fingers very dirty because of the idea I have in my head that I really wanna make happen. So first I'm gonna clean some of this yellow off. Never a waste with our paste, never a waste. 
And yes, there's a little piece there that you guys probably think I missed, but I didn't miss it. I did not miss it because I'm going to stick my finger in here and I want to do some little shadowing in here. I'm going to bring it in there. So got to move a little faster. And I'm going to pull that off on the yellow. I'm going to bring it in here. Okay. And yeah, I'm going to use a little more. Okay, and then through here. I want it to have a little bit of a vintage effect. So I wanted to put it there. Time for me to move on. Chris said you mentioned Chris. roosters if you happen to see one today. That, oh, really? Where did you see a rooster? <laughs> Where did you see a rooster? Oh, I want to know. Do tell. Do tell the story, Ray. You tell us all because I can't see what she's writing. All right, so I'm going to clean my hand real quick, guys. I'm going to start lifting this, okay? Yeah. I'm going to lift it now. I'm going to lift it from uh, the top. And I'm going to pull this out. There we go. There we go. Oh, that's so cool. It doesn't matter if some of this goes on my frame. I'm going to lie it on the frame now. It doesn't matter if it goes on my table because this will come off with water. It's not solid yet. Oh my God, I love that. It, it came awesome. out exactly the way I want it. Like this very vintage, kind of broken up piece. That's why I had left that without chalking. I wanted to do it with my fingers so that it's missing a few pieces. I love the way it came out. Um, I am going to, uh... y'all know I keep missing. I, 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 I keep uh, losing that paper, right guys? Y'all know I keep losing it. Don't have no idea where I threw that that, that uh, paper that I used five seconds ago. Hey. Okay, here it is. Let me put it here. Yeah. Chris, strong, Chris strongly believes yeah. that there's a method to your madness, and I'm with her 100%. Really? Oh, okay. I love it. Okay, guys. Since that's so close, I'm literally going to lift this part of the screen, pull it over a little bit. Yep. I am not taking chances. It happened to me once before. So I don't take chances with it. All right. We're going to dry this up. I love the way that banner came out. What do you guys think? She said it looks antiquated. Yes, yeah. that's what I wanted. I wanted it to look antiquated. And very cool. Very and cool. very cool. Great. And by the way, the rooster was looking. I think the rooster was looking for his car in the parking lot because she said it was next the parking lot next to her building, so I don't know. I wonder why it was there. That's you, so go, weird. Oh, poor little rooster. I hope somebody finds it and takes care of it. Gives it food. I'm vegan, guys, so I don't believe in killing any animal. Alright, so let me continue here. Um, the reason why I left, so I want to explain something to you guys. I could have chalked the entire banner. None of you noticed that I left a little piece of the banner without chalking at all. And I wanted to use the brown on that piece because I knew that when I did it with my finger and because it didn't have the moisture, that it was gonna have that little antique look and I love it, that's what I was looking for. Gives it a little dimension and a little difference from the yellow up on top that says we belong together. Instead of it uh, looking exactly like that, I didn't want that. I wanted it to have a little dimension. Now, originally, I was going to do white, the banner, just if anybody wants to do it. I was gonna do the banner in white with green edges, which will also look really great. Okay, let's touch that. Let's make sure it's dry. Yes, I dry it a lot, guys. I'm sure there's other designers that might not think or might not dry it as much as I do, but that's okay. I send you guys love because I know that we're all on the same team. Okay. Feels like it's dry. It's hot. All right. So I'm going to bring this back up. And I am going to, because remember, I lifted it all the way up. Yeah, that feels kind of wet to me. 
So I'm kind of not even going to mess with that side yet. Not, well, not at all. I'm not going to mess with this side. I'm going to leave that very, very alone. What I am going to mess with is where this uh, marshmallow is supposed to go. That I am going to mess with. We want that marshmallow to be very, very, very glued to the piece here. So I'm going to squeegee that down. And it probably needs to be lifted up a little bit. Let me pull it and lift it up a little more. Yeah, I think that's a lot better. That's a lot better. Going to keep this rolled a little bit. Guys, remember what I said. There's never a mistake. There's only a change of direction. And when there is something... Uh, that you don't want to change direct directions, there's always recovery with our paste. The other thing is I've used chalk paste from other companies. Yes, I have. And did I think they were great? They were great. Are they as strong as ours? No. I love our chalk because it's so well pigmented that you just can't go wrong, you know? with the ink and how it how it comes out because I mean the paste because it's so well pigmented it doesn't look watery that's what I'm trying to say the other ones I've worked with have been very very watery and as you could see ours are not but it still gives you that wonderful paste chalk look that is very in fashion right now that everybody loves now I'm going to take this here I'm gonna put some of my white and I am going to take a little bit of my brown and put it here as well and I'm going to take one of my little spatula thing well I'm gonna use this one everybody knows this is my favorite tool right here like everybody that knows me knows how I love 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 this tool now guys I was kind of cheap just now with the white, I was like really cheap. All right, the, the frugal chalker, that's who I am right now. <laughs> All right, let's mix that up. Yeah, that's a good color. Hopefully I made enough. All right, I'll put that to the side. And I am just going to attack this with white. So I'm gonna just put white here. My white marshmallows, which are going to get a little bit roasted. Alright, so let's get this as white as possible. You know, some paint's falling, but it's not because it's falling. It's actually falling from my fingers. And everybody that knows me knows my fingers are forever filled with paint. And then the paint dries up and it gets crusty and it wants to fall on what I'm doing. Guys, that's me. But you know what? It could always be cleaned off, so we're good. We are good. This little piece here, guys, serious. Jet serious. Just cut a squeegee. It'll be better. Cut a squeegee. All right. So I'm going to take this squeegee right here. I, and you know what? I might just use this. I'm going to take some of this. I'm just going to go on the very edges here. Just a little bit. Kind of want white, white white marshmallows. I don't want them to be too brown. All right, I'm gonna do that, and I'm gonna move fast. And let's get some little shadowing up in here. Chris says she loves all the colors. Yes. Oh, I'm glad you like it. All right. We are now gonna reveal this completely. Let's lift it up. Ha! I love it. Look at that, guys. Look at that. Look at the marshmallows. Oh my God, they're so great. Uh, this is me. Y'all know. Y'all know. Everybody that knows me and whoever doesn't know me, you do now. This is, <laughs> this is me. Now, I'm glad this happened. I, I've showed this before. Let me turn this big bat boy around because it's so big that you're not going to see. And let me start closing this because I do not want my paste to dry up. Being that uh, we do have the air conditioner on from the other room. So 
So let me close this up. Sorry guys, I gotta make sure that my paste doesn't dry up on me while I'm working. Because then, it, I, then I'll have to do it again. So you guys see this right here? Do you see that? And you might have thought, oh my God, she messed it up. Nope, did not mess it up. First, let me uh, get some of that off. Let me turn it around. Oh, sorry, I hit the camera. I'm going to turn that around a little bit so I can shake some of that off. I did not mess this up. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. Uh, it is not dry. And even if it was, there's always recovery. I'm just going to wet a tissue. And I'm going to rub it. Nice and wet tissue. And it's going to start to remove this uh, chalk from here. And everybody knows that I love to paint my frames. I don't know if y'all know that. Okay, but I love to paint my frames. Um, I'm gonna use this. This thing is my miracle uh, sponge. I love this thing. Like, you guys don't know how much I love this thing. This thing cleans everything, including the screen. Chris says you remind her of Christmas when everybody's sitting around having hot chocolate with Yes. Oh, remember we did that once? That's what well, she not said. once. We always do it. Yeah, she said with you. Yeah, when we're always doing our tree, we always do hot cocoa with marshmallows, and we all sit around listening to Christmas carols and drinking our cocoa with... Uh, Yep, there you go. Cleaned. And then this down here, yeah, that's just little paint that came off my fingers. So no biggie. You clean it off, you shake it off, your piece. You pick it out. And I got to clean my hands, guys, especially now, because we're not done. I wish you could see in person, because I know that you can't see the cup in person, but it has a beautiful light glitter to it because of our gold shimmer. It's so pretty. And, it, it, I mean, I can't express how pretty this looks in person. You know? You just clean that off. It's gorgeous. It looks really great. Yes. All right, guys, I have to work on this part. Now, the best thing for me to do is to clean my fingers. Yes, guys, because I have ink all over it. Uh, if you could, refresh in that water would be great. My husband's going to get my little water bath. I always have a little water bath, guys always uh, next to me so that I could put my squeegees as I go and so that I could clean my fingers as I go because this is me look see always ink everywhere <laughs> all right so we're not done because I don't know if y'all forgot uh, my screen fell and no I don't want to put it anywhere um no, leave that there because I'm using that. Thank you, Ray. All right, let me put that on the table because my screen fell, guys. So I had to put it on the table. All right, I don't know if you guys remember that we're still putting the hot chocolate on this, right? And we are also putting marshmallows. So we're going to put these little marshmallows in that cup. And we're going to put this uh, hot chocolate in that cup, right? Okay, so... I have to, again, use, Ray, forget it. If you're going to get hurt, I don't want you to do it. Okay, I got it. We're going to fuzz this, all right? Always fuzz. And always write in the back of your screen before you pull it off. Meaning on this. All right? So that you don't get confused when you put it back. Because if you, by mistake, put it on this side instead of this side, it's going to mess up your screen. All right, so we're going to fuzz it. And this screen was awesome because it's, re it's really sticky. I love it. You, may, you might be wondering why I love that. Well, it's going to last me a long time. I'll be able to get some use out of this. You know, I might use the cup on something else and not use it the whole screen. I might decide to just use the cup with another saying that we have. I might decide to just use the word hot on something or the word cocoa. You could do so many combinations with our screens. 
Look how sticky this is, guys. Isn't that wonderful, though? That's just wonderful. Trust me, it is. Thank you, Ray. You're welcome. Move this forward. I don't want you to get hurt. Go ahead. Move it forward. Go by. Put the... the... We're in small quarters, guys. I'm in New York City. I know you guys know a lot of us are quarantined <laughs> in New York City, and that, that that's our situation. All right. So I am going to use this. Now I'm wondering, that's some really, really, really dark chocolate. And uh, I'm sorry, guys. This goes this way. Does it go that way? Let's see. Nope. I had it right the first time. Okay, we're going this way. Yeah, that's it. All right, so I'm going to line it up. This is going to be quick. I'm going to take a squeegee for this beautiful brown paste. And I am going to create my hot chocolate. Yummy. Speaking of holidays, right? Holidays are coming up, guys. They're right around the corner. So we have Halloween coming next, right? Well, I have some screens for Halloween. I can't wait to show you. There's my hot chocolate. Yes. And Thanksgiving's also coming, and I have some things to show you. I have a beautiful thing we're going to do for your celebration of Thanksgiving. And that look, can you guys see that brown on screen? I'm not sure if you can, but in person it looks incredible. All right, guys, so I have to dry this because you all know i got to put the marshmallow on this. And if I put the marshmallow, it's going to pull it off if this is wet. It's just looking really good. Guys, that's from my nails. Don't think there's a mistake there. There's nothing. It's, it's my nails. See? Just a little bit of nothing to worry about. I'll just blow it off. There we go. All right, so we got to get this uh, nice and dry so that we could add our marshmallows. If you're new to seeing my me do this, um, I might start out this way and then later on I'll look at it and say, hey, you know what, I want to add this color. And then I do that. And then my picture might look a little different. Then sometimes I just leave it. We'll see. You never know with me. All right. I hope that's dry so that we could put these beautiful marshmallows on this cup. Just like Chris said, reminds me of Christmas. So we also have some Christmas um, screens that I'd love to show you. Beautiful. That I can't wait to show you guys. So keep coming back so you could see all that. And we're going to peel this guy. Now you already know. I have to, I have to, uh, Gray, can I have my, my uh, fuzzy? Thank you. Okay, so let me put the, get this all fuzzed in there. What is she saying over there, Ray? You're not telling me comments. Halloween is basically tomorrow. It really is tomorrow. I mean, guys, understand that Halloween is around the corner. Don't procrastinate to order your stuff. Really don't. And I don't mean just from us. I mean from anywhere. Because, I mean, there's new guidelines to factories. And factories now have to clean constantly. So they have to stop production and clean. And I don't know if it's happened to you already. It doesn't matter where you order from. You're receiving things later than you used to. And some things, just so you guys know, are coming from warehouses. And once those warehouses run out of it, if they didn't receive new shipments, you're going to wait much longer. I know we have a friend that ordered a bed because he's moving to a, a new place. And they told him he has to wait six weeks for his bed. Can you believe that? So that's our new world. 
So guys, I tell you, don't wait to order for Christmas, Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving or Halloween. Put your ordering now, whatever you're ordering, put it now, whether it's with us or any company. All right. All right, here we go. So now I'm going to match this up. Okay, here we go. Let's squeegee this down. Let me find the right squeegee. Let me clean this one. Okay, uh, I did a boo boo. Hold on. Because I do not want to add any intrusive color. And you know what? I have another one over here. Let's get some white. Because we want to add white to this. This is the easiest thing to do, guys. The other thing we have is that if you join our VIP group, Chris, you can put that link. If you join our VIP group, I do put uh, little baskets and little um, packages you could try. I also have offers for our magazine if you want that. And I'll send it to you free if you join that VIP and you sign up for it. All right, here we go. All right, let's pull this off. Ha! And there it is. Look at that. Oh, man. That looks oh, man. so cool. Oh, man. I swear it looks like the marshmallows are just floating in the chocolate. They should see it in person. Look at this. Right? In person awesome. is where it looks oh, awesome. Oh, man. Look at this, guys. Let me see. Hold on now. I'm going to bring myself in view. Just me. Let's get this off view. There we go. Because I want to pick this up. Because it's it's a big guy. And I want to bring it back here so you guys can really see it. Look at that. What do you think? Look at that. Oh my God, isn't it amazing? Imagine this hanging in your kitchen. And imagine you doing it the color that you want. Right? So that it matches your kitchen. Oh my God, I love this thing. I think it came out great. I wanted to use minimal colors today because I had promised everybody that I would. Because I usually do a lot of uh, mix mosh of colors. And sorry guys, trying to get my seat here. I want to sit and talk to you a minute before we say goodbye to each other. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this segment today. Please come join me for Quickie Monday. That is when... Uh, we do something that's quick or we show you how quick it is and sometimes we do it fun and we time it with a timer. Uh, so, you know, I still have the Happy Chalkers Quickie Monday Challenge if anybody wants to join me with that. And uh, again, Chris is gonna put links. Please feel free to contact me. I would love to be your designer. I would love to be the one mentoring you until you're ready to fly solo and for you mothers out there if you want to uh, work from home this is a great way to work from home i promise if you guys are in between jobs another great thing because our stuff is booming uh yeah people are still working and we're still booming at chalk so please join me again I'm Lucia Leah, and this was the Happy Chalkers at the Cozy Cottage showing you work from Chalk Couture. Have a great Friday, guys, and I hope to hear from you. I hope that you do contact me, and if you're on YouTube, please click, you already know, subscribe, bell, and if you're on Facebook, please follow me. And now we also have a bell, so please bell. Bell either way. Okay, guys, that way you know when I'm coming back with something new. All right, bye.